Hello, I'm Rachel, the RSE teacher at Step 2 Young People's Health, and this video is about incels. So an incel is an involuntary celibate. It was initially an idea thought of by a Canadian student to discuss her sexual activity. Um, she wasn't having sex, she was disappointed that she wasn't having sex, she wasn't celibate voluntarily. And she set up a website with a discussion forum so that other people like her could get together and discuss the fact that they weren't having sex and why that might be and what they could potentially do about it. And the idea of it was that it was a support system. Now, eventually, this young lady realised that actually she was bisexual, bisexual. And once she became comfortable in that and within herself, she gave the site away to a group of people and individuals who turned it into something much different than what she'd originally envisaged. So now it largely exists in misogynistic online forums and they are frequented by men. Women are usually demonised on these sites. Not all incels support violence, but a lot of them do. Uh, they use quite dehumanising language towards women. Um, they can often be quite socially isolated individuals. They might not have a lot of friends. They might not have very good social skills at being able to talk to people. And a lot of them have become more extremist and violence focused since the late 2010s. This is not to say that everybody who is involuntary celibate, who's not having sex, not in a sexual relationship, and that's not through choice, you know, they would like to be in that relationship. That's not to say that all those people are going to become violent and aggressive, or that they would identify as incels, or that they would identify with the attitudes and beliefs shown by these incel groups. There have been a number of attacks uh, taken place by people who've identified as incels and they are really widely celebrated among the incel communities. So Jake Davidson, he um, identified as an incel. He was 22 years old and um, his crime was shooting. He killed five and he injured two and then he died by suicide. And that was 2021 and it was in the UK. The first person that he killed was his mum. Now, because of this kind of hatred and negative attitude towards women, the ultimate woman in your life is generally your mum. So clearly he had some hatred and some blame towards her for the things that he perceived were going wrong in his life. There's a man called Alec Manassian and he killed 10 and injured another 16. It was a vehicular ramming. He drove his vehicle at people. That was 2018 in Canada and he is quite widely celebrated within the community. You may have heard of the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting where Nicholas Cruz killed 17 people and injured a further 17. Elliot Roger was a self-identified incel. He killed six, he injured 14 and he died by suicide. And then there is an unknown one that is often um, celebrated. We do not have his name. He's 21 years of age and uh, he's self-identified incel. He wrote a manifesto which he published online and that was about his goals to kill 3,000 people in some sort of mass event. And that was in Ohio in 2021. There are reporting restrictions around this one with it being so recent, uh, which is potentially why we don't have the name of the person. They glorify each other, do the, um, the more extreme elements of the incel community. So this is a quote from Alec Manassian. The incel rebellion has already begun. We will overthrow all the Chads and Stacey's, all hail the Supreme Gentleman, Elliot Roger. So I'll go on to Chads and Stacey's very shortly to explain what they are. Um, Elliot Roger was one of the ones I mentioned previously in the last slide. Um, he was self-identified incel. They kind of look up to him as um, this kind of supreme figure that they should be uh, trying to emulate in their lives. 
and that terminology of the incel rebellion that they are rebelling against society a rebellion um implies that change is wanted or needed some incels will absolutely encourage each other to carry out attacks and celebrate them when they've done it these forums some of them exist on the dark web where um things aren't monitored and uh, police and other agencies potentially won't get to see them and they they will literally egg each other on so there will be people on there who are potentially feeling angry and upset at the way their life is going and there will be other people there who are peer pressuring them for want of a better term to go out and to commit some kind of attack and to make a stand against women and against society and that can be quite scary really that there are people out there who are encouraging these kind of attacks so there's the red pill blue pill theory and there's also included in that a, a black pill as well so it links to the film the matrix and you can see i've taken a still from the film the matrix at the top there and there's two different kind of versions of reality so to speak you take one you get one version you take the other you get the other version the red pill is an awakening to the way previously hidden supposed reality so you are suddenly awakened to the world and to society and to realize um basically a warped version of what is going on in society and again i'm going to come on to the chads and stacys but looking at how they kind of fit and how they control things the blue pill is being unwoke it's accepting the mainstream media or ideas it is just following the norm and getting on with life and and not questioning things the black pill some incels identify with black pill theory and it's this kind of fatalistic belief that you're going to be a virgin forever you are never going to change you'll never have a sexual relationship and that's because it's predetermined by genetics and a lot of um black pill followers will feel that suicide is inevitable um they're never going to have this sexual relationship their life is worthless on this planet they will make people suffer for it and then they will go on to take their own life so chads and stacys i do have some diagrams as well so chad is your stereotypical alpha male they have the best genetics so they get all the sex they are your popular alpha guys Stacy controls who gets sex and who doesn't. The incels feel that they are owed sex by the Stacys. All Stacys owe them sex. But they're never going to get access to it because that's how they feel Stacy controls things. There's quite a lot of different versions of these diagrams available out there. And on the right, you've got Chad. So. <laughs> These are written by people who do not like the Chads and Stacys, who believe in them. So it may be worth taking it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. But they believe that, um, you know, Chads are big, muscly people. You can see the exaggerated pouch where the penis would be there. The hair's firmly in place all of the time. Um, and the information around them is designed to belittle them. So the hair being firmly fastened in place defies any laws of physics. Um, he's never heard a song in his life. He doesn't register emotions or feelings of others at all. Rapidly tiptoes around. These are um, derogatory beliefs of a Chad. So what they're basically saying is that Chad controls everything. He's attractive. He's big. He's both and he basically controls society next to that you've got the virgin walk so this is um potentially an incel self view of themselves so they will avoid eye contact they'll look away immediately if somebody makes contact with them they're slouched there are very little movement from their arms they walk too fast um, they're basically trying to get away from everybody. They are introvert. 
they are shy potentially and it's about how Chad is sort of not as intelligent but gets all the girls and is really overconfident whereas the people who you know want sex and want to be able to communicate with people don't seem to be able to do that you've got your becky and your stacy so stacy is the one who is in control of all the sex stacy decides who gets sex and who doesn't um, she can control men through sex so again these annotations are made by people who believe these so you know there's some language on the stacy one that you may consider inappropriate but this is how these women are seen so the big boobs the big bum they're there to show fertility the makeup's always on point and um, naturally curvy body gives men instant erections basically stacy's are meant to be the really attractive girls that will only sleep with the really attractive guys and they get to control who has sex and who doesn't becky on the other hand becky is considered um the opposite of kind of the virgin guy so she's a bit more nerdy she wants sex but she can't necessarily get it she's got minimum wage job she's a bit basic so you've got your stacy who controls everybody and you've got your basic becky if you see any of these diagrams um, anywhere it could be that the person who's posting them is an incel or doesn't fully understand the incel movement if you hear the attitudes towards Stacey and Chad, there could potentially be a level of concern there. So Alec Manassian, before he went off and did what he did, he said, I don't know why you girls are not attracted to me, but I will punish you all for it. So he's not found a girl that's attracted to him. So immediately he's going to punish all girls. And that's because of this attitude towards women that women have ruined their lives. Women are the reason that they're not getting sex and having these sexual experiences some governments do consider incel ideology as a terrorist threat obviously these guys have got these extremist beliefs and they've gone on to commit these acts where people have died february 2020 an attack in canada motivated by incel ideology that was the first case of this to be prosecuted as terrorism so it can happen it is an example of terrorism in many countries around the world like I said, these guys have got these extremist beliefs and they're using it as a way to cause pain and anger and death. The government's prevent strategy has three specific strategic objectives and this covers terrorism and the threat from those who promote it. There is more information in the government guidance, which I've posted the link to there, and they will work with sectors, sectors and institutions where there is risk of radicalisation. So if there are young people in school who are promoting these kinds of beliefs, then it's potential that you may need to refer that to prevent. I've put a link um, at the image for the prevent strategy there. It is a government strategy. If there are other concerns, you can contact West Yorkshire Police. It may be that these young people need somebody to talk to and to explore these feelings before it gets to this point where there is anger and there is hatred and resentment. And organisations like Cooth and Young Minds can help with that. Step 2, James and Hale have been commissioned by the local authority to deliver relationships and sex education across the district. Um, all of those can signpost young people and school staff to where they need to be in terms of getting support. Step 2 can also offer um, emotional wellbeing support and counselling for young people. There's a newsletter for professionals. There's a link to that on the website. There are social media handles that people can contact us through. And obviously, there's the YouTube channel if people need to get in touch. Um, you can, of course, go off and do your own um, research about incels. I'd just be very careful about what you type into Google because it might be that you're getting incel ideology and they're trying to push that as being the true form and the true narrative of what is actually happening in society.